Is Bitcoin still cheap? And could this be your last chance to buy Bitcoin at these prices? Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. Let's get into it. So currently the price of Bitcoin is at 51,789. Very strange. 51814 is the price. 51,800 for Bitcoin at this moment in time very 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 weird action <laughs> i'll explain why because as you can see we had a bullish pennant here for bitcoin that was created right and it fell out of the bullish pennant right and so usually when you have this kind of action right it will fall out of it and go on a little bit of a, a movement right <laughs> to the downside something like this right that's usually what happens but bitcoin was like no bueno hombre <laughs> oh, that, that was a very bad spanish uh, grammar i'm sorry about that <laughs> spanish is my third language so uh, hebrew first english second spanish third right <laughs> Um, and so you see here that Bitcoin is now back in to the bullish triangle, right? It has made a recovery. Uh, and this is some very weird movement, weird momentum that happened. Um, shorts are getting squeezed a little bit here, right? And it's, it's funny because usually um, Sunday is the tricky day and not Saturday, right although i did see something um here right you could see this the stochastic full for bitcoin hit the bottom and then came up to the top but i did see something from uh, cousin crypto here right on twitter he says bitcoin weekend pump equals weak dump bitcoin weekend dump equals weak pump weak pump right long story short don't fall for the low volume weekend moves the opposite tends to occur during the week but we just saw a total 180 here in the same day right um it was like omg we're falling out of the bullish pennant here for bitcoin right and it dropped 2.3 percent but that whole 2.3 percent all off has now been recovered so very very interesting action here for bitcoin today uh and it's showing very very strong uh conviction recently right uh you know even when we have the crypto fear at levels that are almost extreme greed right we're not at extreme greed yet oh it just it popped into extreme greed okay <laughs> we're gonna get an update though in two hours uh, and 43 three minutes so maybe after of course yesterday when we saw us i understand why we're in extreme greed we went to 52,700. so that was the new yearly high uh and so that's why we, we went back to extreme greed maybe that's why we saw a little bit of a sell-off today uh we saw that last time also uh once we hit 50,000, we also jumped into extreme greed uh, and then it pulled back a little bit back to 48,000. so how much of a fall off was that about 3.3 percent okay so it makes sense to me now i understand why it fell off also technical the bullish uh, pennant got broken uh but it just coming back like it came back here right it's the casting full hits the bottom and comes back right uh, sometimes the algos uh for bitcoin just work the way they work right uh, and we're seeing a continue uh, accumulation of blackrock they are already accumulated uh six billion of bitcoin in the last 45 days right massive massive amount people are going to blackrock right uh, etf i know all the all the people that i see here in israel um that are interested in bitcoin etfs they're all asking about the blackrock one they're not asking about the fidelity one they're not asking about any others they're asking about that one right uh, and it seems you know blackrock is the the most famous name more than fidelity right although in the u.s it's it's i think fidelity is more um famous you know or, or well known because of you know many people have an account with them but around the world people really don't know them right they know blackrock though right they know the blackrock etfs people that invest in etf know them right um so it'll be interesting to see uh what happens here now the bitcoin having game plan right could this be that we are in already the pump before the 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 half having right <laughs> um so we could be right uh in this zone where there's a reaccumulating during the black black dark blue circle right it could be a pullback uh and uh, and then reaccumulate in the red uh right after having 
right? Um, you know, if we look at Bitcoin and we look at the indicators, it's way overbought, right? The stochastic flow is just screaming pullback, right? But I've said this before, we could go up to all the way to 55,000 before we see that pullback. We saw similar action uh, at 25,000 where it felt like we needed a pullback, right? We need a pullback bad, but it didn't happen uh, and it took a while, but eventually it did pull back uh, in that scenario, right? And so I feel like this time it could be a similar scenario where everything is screaming pullback, 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 but no selling, right? Although on the four hour, we did uh, see the stochastic flow after it was on a high level here, go from that 52,700 all the way down to 50,700. So $2,000 uh, swing here for Bitcoin. So on the four hour chart, it did remove a little bit of the pressure uh, on the stochastic full here, but the daily is is still the problematic here. Again, it can live in this zone for a while. I've seen assets live here and even Bitcoin itself lived here in the top range uh, for I think this is this is almost two months, right? Uh, yeah, a month or so, even more because it didn't really drop that much let's say up until here right before it really pulled back that was you know about two months and it kept going up and up and up and yes there were some pullbacks right um but for the most part it's stayed in the in the upper zone right and then we had the january 10th uh you know uh, release of bitcoin etf and that pullback that released all that pressure that was building up for months and months and months so we'll see like we could we could get a fifty-five thousand push then a pullback and then into having a question the all-time high although historically you know it, it's taken a little bit of time after having we're in a unique situation where we're a lot higher than we were previous cycles um so it's it's a very interesting scenario now historically we've seen that that the time it takes from the low to get to back to the high is almost a year right uh, so i think that was uh, what i read today 300 days ish I think it was from the low to the high, but what, what was more interesting was I read, and I couldn't find the tweet that I read because it was on my phone, so I couldn't look at the history, right? On the computer, you can do that. <laughs> but um, uh, it said that there, usually it's a thousand days uh, between the one all-time high to the next all-time high. Right? So that's about three uh, plus years, right? Uh, no, sorry, from the low to the new all-time high, right? Um, so if we like zoom zoomed out there, uh, it um, was the low of the cycle. Okay, I think I'm messing up what what it said. <laughs> Technical difficulty time. How many days was it from from here to here? Right, so that was only 600 days. But maybe this was the low post having. Um, I don't know. I need to re reread that tweet. <laughs> This is a real technical difficulty. <laughs> um, so it was said something about a thousand days until the ne next new all time high. I, I'm not sure what it said thousand days from when, but I remember that the date that they said was October of 25 would be the date that we would see the new, new all time high, meaning that after that we see a pullback until the next cycle uh, starts. That, that was the main point. <laughs> I didn't remember all the details of the tweet. I don't have a photographic memory. Um, it's, you know, I, I'm sorry for myself, but it is what it is. Now, is Bitcoin still cheap, right? So many people like to reference this graph, right? Uh, and the rainbow graph. And they'll tell you, right, that uh, we're now in the zone of still cheap, right? So when we were, uh, you know, here, uh, you know, in 2023, and we were at 15,000, it was like basically a fire sale buy, you know, those, those levels in the beginning of 2023. Now we've got into the middle, which is the green, light green kind of color here, which is still cheap, right? Uh, and then we have not get into the, is it a bubble, FOMO, intensify sell, serious to sell, and maximum bubble territory. And we haven't seen that extreme red um since the 2018 if you've been watching my videos you know that i mentioned that the last cycle bitcoin was expected to uh, get a lot higher than it actually uh, did right uh it was um expected by all the um projections to get to around two hundred thousand um dollar per bitcoin at the maximum of the parabolic move right but 
it only got to that 65,000, right? Uh, people took the movements previously and they tried to calculate and do projections and we got a little bit less than we did that time. Now, the question is here, we are in a higher position than we were in the previous cycle. So if you go and you look like a month out uh, in the previous cycle, of course, it fell off because of the pandemic. So we were in uh, this, uh, not the basically fire sale, but we were in a buy zone, right? If you go back to the, also the having before that, we were also in a buy zone, right? But then it shot up here into the second level, right? So it wasn't even in the third level, right? Um, and before that, it was also in the blue, right? Prior to having right? This time, prior to having, we are already at, right? We're not at the basically fire sale. We're not at the buy. We're at the accumulate and almost right into the still cheap. So Bitcoin is at a lot higher value than it was in the previous three cycles. Now, this could be interpreted in a few different ways. One could say, well, it is already pretty expensive, right? We're already, uh, you know, <laughs> halfway to maximum bubble territory which we did not hit last time uh, and on the flip side people will say hey last time we didn't get there because all kinds of reasoning you know pandemic and and all that maybe could have affected all uh, right manipulation ftx and all that could be right uh on the third hand right <laughs> Uh, people could say, well, we already moved up so much this cycle because of the Bitcoin ETS. And we will that will create a situation where the highest highs will be even higher than this red, right? We'll we'll you know surf out, right? We'll have a slippage here out of the red, right? Now I am no prophet. I don't know where um Bitcoin will go. My projections are telling me a around a 6x potential high but that would bring us around three hundred thousand, right now that would be still very very nice um you know <laughs> bitcoin is considered a, a safe bet here on the crypto market right it's the mac daddy most people have most of their portfolio in bitcoin i have 40 percent of my portfolio in bitcoin right um and if it's six x's that would be very nice in a what would that be like Two years i mean yeah that would be very nice <laughs> um of course we want what 10x or 20x um but for those kinds of things it we might need to you know go down the market capitalist a little bit and find those projects and of course the 100x6 will be 100x projects will be at the bottom of the market capitalist right um but if you go to the stock market and you tell someone hey you're gonna get a 6x return on your investment uh and it's you know considered the safest of the of course the crypto market is volatile and and, and anything can happen but you'd say to them you want 6x on your safe investment they'll be like give it to me now baby right <laughs> um so i still think that 300,000 is, is uh conservative here uh, and we'll see what happens. Like that, that's my most realistic projection. Of course, some will say a hundred thousand. It, it all depends on on your projections. Um, but that that is the projection that I made, right? And um, I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm not a prophet, right? Don't be writing me comments in a, in October of 2025. You said it would get to three hundred thousand. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's going to get to 300,000. Uh, that's just my projection from the history. Does that mean that that's going to be the future? No, but we shall see. Check out the links in the description down below and uh, check out our partners, of course, uh, Bybit. If you're outside of the US, you can trade with leverage. Crypto.com, if you're inside the US, I don't know, it's not working. My, my internet is <laughs> giving me troubles. Giving me troubles here. And Mumu, if you want to trade stocks, right? And we got crypto.com and uh, Bybit if you live in the U.S. and outside of the U.S. Uh, so check them out uh, and decide if you want to trade. You get some prizes once you use my links. It really helps us uh, keep the lights on. Don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.